Travis Chell here with Edgewood College men's basketball coach Todd Adrian. Um, starting the tournament down here in Albion, Michigan, after your first game at Loris last, last Monday, um, fell down by quite a few points, came back, but couldn't quite get over the hump getting within one point. Could you kind of talk about that game and if it helped you, like, experience-wise? Uh, you know, it was a bit of a wake-up call. We have a number of uh, players that are playing in their first collegiate game on Monday. Uh, you know, and on the road and against a, a good team in Loris, uh, I thought it was—I thought it was—it was good show of character. Um, the second half when we came out, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think we had the fire that we did. But again, you know, a lot of guys just kind of getting their feet wet in that first half. And uh, technically, we weren't very good. Uh, I kind of knew we wouldn't. We have a lot of, of new guys trying to learn a system. Mm-hmm. Um, but like we had talked about before that game, and actually the whole preseason, you know, if, if you're not good. Real good technically, you have to really go out and not work them and have a lot of energy. And we didn't have that the first half. In the second half, however, we did. We did a few things better. Um, we made some bad decisions in the first half. Uh, but we kind of shirt some things up in the second half and allowed us to have a chance to win. Uh, you know, after being down 18 or 20 in that first half, uh, I was really impressed with our guys the way they came back, um, made some adjustments, definitely amped up their enthusiasm, their intensity. Uh, and they gave, gave themselves a chance. You got to hand yeah. to Loris too. They hit all the shots at the end of the game. They went eight for eight from the free throw line in the last minute and a half. Yeah. Um, so I thought we, I think we, I think we learned a lot from it. We've had a couple of good practices this week, uh, you know, in preparation for our trip here. Okay. Um, in that game, Derek Kemji um, scored 20 points, a career high. Did you kind of talk about his performance and how he's progressed since you know, last year? Yeah, Derek is. Uh, He's really made some strides this offseason. Uh, last year, really a kind of a tentative player in a backup role. Uh, this preseason, though, he's been he's probably been our most consistent competitor uh, and, and transferring him over to the one position in large part because we trust him with the ball and, and he's improved his offhand so much that uh, it's really been phenomenal to watch him and how he's progressed in the off, in the off months and then impress everyone, including his teammates, I think, uh, this preseason. So it was no surprise to me. And they were really doing a good job on our shooters. Ben and Ken didn't get many looks, and that opened up some, some penetration lanes for Derek. And he's more than capable of taking care of those uh, opportunities himself. Now, here in Albion, you play um, Albion College here first tonight, who beat number nine Wooster last week, and then either Bluffton or DePaul tomorrow. Can you kind of talk about your expectations and the tough competition that you're going to face this week? Well, it is going to be a very good top competition, and Albion won uh, won a game against uh, Wooster, who was a very good team, and they did it actually without their best returning player. Albion had a uh, has a young man's very athletic wingman that uh, was a football player who didn't play last Sunday, so uh, I'm sure he'll be back uh, in uniform and playing full strength against us tonight. Um, but yeah, it's a great tournament. It's why I'm glad we're here. You know, it's a good trip for us. Uh, Albion's very good. DePaul's always a nationally ranked program, one of the best in the country. You know, Bluffton, while young. Um, is also still a very good program. So we're going to get two quality games no matter who it is we play. And, and that excites me as a coach because we need to play good competition to show us and expose our weaknesses and show us where it is we need to improve. Um, so, yeah, you know, our expectations are, are to compete as hard as we can. Uh, we don't really talk about wins and losses very often, but we want to make strides from where we were yesterday and the day before, and especially when we played Morris. Uh, we've had, like I mentioned earlier, two very good practices. Our attention to detail has been much heightened. Uh, and I think I think it will produce a better product on the floor tonight uh, than we saw, you know, at Lawrence. Yeah, yep. Thank you. That was Edgewood College men's head basketball coach Ty Adrian. Thank you.